In the previous video, we took a look at a very simple mark and sweep garbage collector and the approach we saw was a simple depth first search traversal with two distinct phases, mark and sweep. The algorithm required us to pause the program so that we can run garbage collection. This is called stop the world garbage collection in which a program literally pauses, does nothing but garbage collection. So can we write a garbage collector that does not stop the world and runs concurrently with the program, giving us a massive performance boost? In this video, we take a look at something foundational called tricolor invariant and the concept we discuss is something that was contributed by Dijkstra who is most famous for his shortest path algorithm. The tricolor invariant allows us to build garbage collectors that run concurrently with the program with very small pause times. But before we move forward, I'd want to talk to you about a code based course of system design that I have been running since March 2021. Right? If you are looking to learn system design from the first principles, this course is for you. Because this is a cohort based course, it will not just be me rambling a semi optimized solution thinking it's the most amazing solution out there. Instead, it will be a collaborative environment where every single person who is part of the cohort will can pitch in his or her ideas and we will evolve our system around that. Right? Every single problem statement comes with a brainstorming session where we all together brainstorm and evolve our system. That's where everyone understands the kind of trade offs we made while making that decision instead of just saying hey we'll use a particular queue we'll have the justification why we use only that queue why we use that particular database why sql why not no sql right how are we leveraging throughput how are we ensuring that our system scales that's the highlight of this course this course is taken by more than 500 engineers to date spanning nine countries and seven cohorts right people from all top companies have taken this course and the outline is very intriguing it's very exciting so we start with week one around, we start with the core foundation of the course where we design online offline indicator, then we try to design our own medium, then we go into database where we go in depth of database locking and take and see few very amazing examples of data log, uh, database locking in, uh, in action and how do we ensure that our system scales through that. Then the third week is all about going distributed where we design our load balancer. I'll walk you through the actual code of a, of, a, of a toy load balancer and understand how TCP connections are managed and how simple it is to build load balancer. Then week four is about all about social networks. Week five is all about building your own storage engines. Like we'll build that intuition on if you were to ever design your storage engine, how would you do that? Right. Then week six is about building high throughput systems. Seven is about building uh, IR systems, basically information retrieval systems and ad hoc designs where we design our own message brokers like SQS where we design distributed task scheduler and we conclude the course with week 8 where we talk about the super clever algorithms that has powered or that has made those systems possible. Right? I have also attached a video verbatim as is from my first code where we designed and scaled Instagram notifications. I will highly encourage you to check this video out. Right? And now back to the video. So let's start with the recap of the mark and sweep garbage collection algorithm in which we have we, the input to our garbage collection is this object reference graph in which we know which object refers which other object. Right? So when we have this sort of graph, the what mark and sweep garbage collection does is it splits it into two phases. First is the mark phase. The mark phase, it starts from the root node and sees which all nodes are reachable from it. The nodes which are reachable from the root node are the ones that are live. Everything else is garbage. So after the mark phase is complete, whatever is unmarked becomes the garbage. And then comes the sweep phase in which all the unmarked objects, which are definitely not reachable from the root nodes, are marked as garbage and then, are, uh, then they are basically cleaned up. So here if we take a look, uh, if we basically closely take a look, every object is in one of these three states. First state is the live state in which we know that this object is definitely live and is reached from the root. Right? Then the second is unprocessed. It means that these are the objects which are not yet processed, which means that the, the depth for search traversal that we wrote, the traversing is yet to reach that particular object. And the third one is processing in which that we have seen that particular object, but are yet to process the child of it. Right? So we are yet to complete the entire depth first search on that particular node. Right? So these are the typical three states in which every object lies in. This, uh, this classification or this sort of analogy from a depth first search into this three color variant or this three state variant was something that was contributed by Dijkstra. So most modern garbage collectors are actually concurrent because if a garbage collector is not concurrent, 
what would happen is we would always have to stop the world for us to run the garbage collection which would increase which would have us larger pause times affecting the throughput of our program so that's where we would want to build garbage collectors that run concurrently with the program so in order to do this what we typically or what dijkstra contributed is something called a stri color abstraction what which gives us high concurrency which means your garbage collector runs concurrently with the program and within that garbage collector itself it can leverage multiple threads to do clean up very fast it has very small pause time because it is running concurrently and doing incremental clean ups it would have very small pause times and is correct what do i mean by correctness correctness implies that even though when we are guaranteeing or uh, when we are uh, having this feature of high concurrency we would still not be cleaning up the items that are live like so no matter what happens we would always clean up something which is definitely a garbage right so what exactly is this tri color abstraction so the object reference graph that we just saw it can be partitioned into three sets or every object that we have in the object reference graph can belong to one of the three set the first is the black second is gray and third is white so every object by default starts with white right and every object is white which means every object is not processed right it's not yet seen it's not yet traversed then we have the gray set which means when the object is seen which means that we have started a traversal but we are yet to complete the traversal for that node which means that we traverse that node but we but we are yet to see the but we are yet to go through all the all the children's of that particular node so then that node becomes a gray node and then once we address all the children's of that node that node turns black so black objects are definitely live gray objects is seen it's partially processed but it's not yet completely processed so that's why they are gray and then the white one which are unprocessed so in a typical state what we see is <clears throat> we have the root list these are the root variables or the global variables or the thread stack which acts as the seed point for our uh, for our object reference traversal so here let's say we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 six root nodes each one of them will point to one object and that would have its own set of children the 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 object that it refers like this object refers to this four objects this object this object refers to this two objects and all so <clears throat> everything that is connected to this root list is something that you can assume to be live and everything which is not connected to this root list directly or indirectly will be the garbage so if we visualize <coughs> sorry if we visualize a uh, the overall coloring of nodes from black gray and white what we can typically see is oh, uh, by the way here because black on black background might not look good that's why i'm painting it green orange and white like just just a heads up on that so when we uh, visualize this overall tracing based garbage collection you can see it as a wave of gray nodes this are the gray nodes which separates the black and the white and it moves across your object reference graph so slowly you would see like you'll start all nodes as white and then the and then the gray wave swoops in behind it leaves everything black and then it then it shrinks everything white into some and then basically it converts everything white into gray and then gray into black so you can see a very nice wave of gray nodes moving in the object separating the black and the white until all the nodes turn black like all the reachable nodes turn black right so this although it's not just visual but this is algorithmically very sound when you are having this clear distinction between your black nodes your white nodes separated by your gray nodes this clear distinction gives us concurrency so how does this tri color abstractions makes things better so what we want is we want correctness which means that a, our garbage collector should never reclaim the storage of live objects which means that no matter what happens i should or our garbage collector should not be freeing up objects which are referenced by some other object the variation that we discussed of black to gray gray to white is something that would guarantee us that now what what happens here 
again a smaller version of the previous graph that we just saw we have a root list we have the nodes connected to it right and there is this one subset of graph which is not linked to any node from the root which typically means this four nodes which are not connected to the root are the ones that would be cleaned up other nodes which are directly or indirectly reachable by the root is something that is live and our job is to identify this efficiently and concurrently so here what we typically see is all the objects that we have in the heap can be segregated into three sets and these are mutually exclusive sets because every object can remain can have only one color it's either white or black or gray so white object like every object starts with white so white objects are the candidate nodes to be garbage collected by default every node is garbage collected right because we don't know if it's reachable from the root node or not right so when we start our algorithm every node will be painted white right and once we know that all the nodes are white then we start our iteration from the root nodes first we mark all the root nodes as gray and then from gray to black so once all the nodes all the root nodes are marked as gray then we start the depth first search then those children nodes once we have identified all of those children nodes and we have started processing them those children nodes turn gray and the root nodes turn black and slowly steadily everything turns black right so in the white set we have candidates that need to be garbage collected so then we have the black set the nodes that have no outgoing edge to white nodes this the nodes which are colored black are definitely the nodes who are uh, the nodes that are live so these objects are live and they definitely don't have to be garbage collected right because they are live and they are referenced from the root node and then comes the gray set gray set are the nodes that are reachable from the root node that are seen as children of some black node but are yet to be completely processed right so this gray set is something that sits between the black and the white and when we take a look we see every node will start from the white will then transition into gray and everything from the gray will then transition into black right so gray nodes are something that are definitely live but they are yet to be completely processed so eventually every single gray node will turn black not all white nodes will turn gray and the things that after and when we stop that we can stop addition when the gray nodes are when this set is empty so whatever is left in the white set is something that can be freed up right so what does our garbage collection flow look like now we pick the objects from the gray set right because gray set is the one that we have just seen we have not yet processed we have just seen those nodes and we find all the children of it and from the white set we move it to the gray set gray set once it completes its children iteration it will move to the black set right so we pick an object from the gray set and move it to the black set color uh, every single child of the gray of the node that we just saw of the gray node that we just saw mark them as gray from the white set and then move this into black one so this way we repeat this entire process until every single node from the gray set is complete or is processed right once the gray set is empty which means that all the nodes that we have processed whatever is left in the white is garbage because it was not reachable by anyone from the root now what does this give you like here whenever our objects are moved from white to gray and gray to black the algorithm gives us a very important property and this property is no black object references white no matter what happens because these are three exclusive sets black gray and white and the nodes will transition from white to gray and gray to black there will not be any node having which is a black node which directly references the white node and that is a very important property of our algorithm because this exclusivity between or this guarantee of our coloration that guarantees that no black node will ever connect to the white node it is guaranteeing correctness which means that because black node is definitely the live node and if it is referencing a white node if that is not possible which means that our program or a garbage collection is correct which means that we would never be collecting an object that is live right so that is a very important uh, property of our tricoloration 
that would guarantee correctness of our garbage collection right but why why do we have to do this like why like our dfas were working so fine why why do we even have to think about colors and all so here the main critical thing about tri coloration method is that it gives us concurrency so single pass dfs that we build with mark and uh, with basically a simple mark and uh, sweep garbage collection is not fast we have to stop the world right so here when we are rearchitecting this things into three different sets black gray and white now you can very clearly see that whenever you are like you can put as many threads like let's say you have basically an eight core machine you can start 16 32 100 threads that continuously operate on this gray set only whose job is to pick an item from the gray set move it into the black set mark every single child of it from the white set and move it to the gray set this way you can like with single pass depth first search you are not able to pull this off but here you are making our systems reactive right by having this ability where you can run very like you can run a thread as soon as like you would have a set of garbage collection threads which are running on this gray area which are concurrently running with your program that was an important distinction that we wanted and as soon as a node enters into this gray set it is immediately picking that up moving it into the black set marking all the child of it from the white into gray right so this way we are making our systems reactive rather than running a periodic garbage collection we can have a reactive system that reacts to whenever a node is added into the gray set and obviously you would not run it continuously but after a certain threshold like let's say a gray set has 1000 nodes into it then you will run a quick clean up right so by doing this you are making your systems run faster on a smaller set of data rather than doing that complete iteration across all the nodes every time right this method of uh, collecting the garbage is on the fly on the fly is a method that was contributed again from which this trickle abstraction is picked up by basically dykstra and and jo uh, leslie lampot leslie lampot someone who we know from the distributed systems clocks be amazing like he has done some fabulous work on distributed system and he has also contributed into the world of garbage collection and three others uh, the the color of the nodes that we like on the fly when we talk about an algorithm which is on the fly here like we with the stop the world garbage collection what did we have we used to stop everything and then we ran our mark and sweep so as in we ran the algorithm that found out which objects were live and which objects were dead and then we cleaned the dead objects or the garbage with on the fly algorithm what would happen is the mutator thread itself which means your program itself can start coloring the nodes as in as soon as a node an, or an object is referenced from another object you can mark that object as gray and if your mutator can start or can simplify the coloring part of it your job of garbage collector becomes very simple and this is how your your garbage collection and your main program can run concurrently where your main program job is also to color the objects with the appropriate colors in order to quickly uh, in in order to make your garbage collector uh, in order to make your garbage collection very efficient so that it does not have to stop the world always right so this is what on the fly like an idea of on the fly is all about we'll touch upon on the fly garbage collection in detail in some time or or in or in the next video or something and which is where we would go into how exactly your concurrent garbage collectors actually work right we will look at the actual core algorithm behind it but this tri color invariant of this three exclusive subsets or three exclusive sets of your all the objects that you have on the heap paves the way or it lays the foundation for us to have a concurrent garbage collector right so this was the key idea that i wanted to discuss in this video about tri color invariant and how it lays the foundation for concurrent garbage collection right so yeah that's it for this one in the next video what we'll look at is we'll look at improving our mark and sweep garbage collection using this tri color invariant and build a concurrent garbage collector out of it right so yeah that's it from me in this one uh, if you guys like this video give this video thumbs up if you guys like the channel give this channel a sub i post three in depth engineering videos every week and i'll see you in the next time thanks again